Good day and welcome to today's tutorial class. My name is Olua Tumbi Blessing or Lalekon, the founder of Michael Tech. All right, so for today, we'll be looking into the problem as displayed on the screen. Okay, yeah, the figure shows three pipes, each of 50 mm diameter and of negligible thickness, with their axis in the same plane and forming a bend through 90 degree. Okay, so the very first uh, problem there is to what produce the given view. Okay, so to replicate the given view, my very first procedure is to come right here as it as it is. Okay, I'm going to produce this thin horizontal line like this. All right, producing that thin horizontal line like that, I'm going to uh, create a vertical line like this. Okay, faintly also to the top, faintly to the top like that. So after doing that. Uh, we were told that the diameter of the pipe is what diameter 50. So picking uh, this ruler and picking mark of 50, which is this. Okay, that is the mark of 50 right there. Okay, and uh, let me pick mark of 25, which is my center line. So this mark of 25, which is my center line. So I am projecting that mark of 50 and 25 as it is right there projecting them so faintly okay faintly making them faintly all right okay so after doing that so you are told that the first one is at uh height of 50 on this axis right here okay so our first height from this side is height of 50. So picking my compass, picking height of 50 right here, which is this, that's height of 50. So standing right here, I pick my first mark, which is height of 50. So after that, we are told that it was tilted at an angle of 65, um, at an angle of 60 degrees, okay at an angle of 60 degrees towards this area from that mark 50. So from my mark 50 right here, okay. So I draw, using my 60 degrees set square, I draw this in this order, faintly also. Okay, now I was told that our next mark is mark of 75, mark of 75. So picking my compass and my ruler, I measure mark of 75, which is going to be this right here to this so from here i mark so that is the mark of 75 right there so then from that area i i'm going to project it horizontally yeah horizontally like in this manner like this faintly also faintly okay after doing that so i also that the length right here is length of 62.5 so let me just use my ruler for that 62.5 so from this area i'm taking mark of 62.5 which is this so on that mark of 62.5 i am going to project it downward like this faintly also okay faintly like that downward then diameter of 50 so i'm picking mark of 50 likewise from here so which is uh, this right there so at that mark i'm what projecting this inwards yeah like this okay after projecting it inwards like that okay so a mark that was omitted on this axis yeah we should have an height on this axis here so i'm going to assume height of 40 right here height of 40 okay so picking my ruler from this junction here okay i'm picking height of what 40 which is this okay so from that height of 40 likewise i am projecting my line at angle 60 degree also like this right here so i'm having this figure on the screen right there okay so my next procedure is to actually take in this out as it is so i'm going to make this much more visible like this right 
so make this much more visible like this this is going to come right here okay and um, i can i have the license of joining this like this okay even this to this junction right here and this to this okay then i can join okay i can join this from here down here boldly you can join this down here boldly like this okay likewise i can join this to this boldly like that and this to this boldly okay so as it stands as it stands so this from this area here is coming faintly okay then from that junction it's coming out here also faintly okay so this is my cylinder uh t k and t all right so we were told to develop the second problem there is to what is to develop cylinder k all right develop cylinder k making T, T this area as the joint line which is also referred to as the same the same s e a m okay to actually do this the very first procedure is to produce our plan okay just to get the divisor so how am i going to do that first in that key i'm going to actually extend uh this middle line right here okay i'm going to extend it downward like this okay after extending it downward all right so i'm going to pick my compass picking the radius which is this okay so i'm going to mark uh let me just give a reasonable distance somewhere here so as not to make it rough okay like that so with that radius yeah which is this i'm going to stand right here mark this like this then sit at this junction and what i'm going to draw so drawing this i'm going to divide it into 12 equal parts 12 12 equal parts so which is what i'm doing right now okay so yeah to divide a circle into 12 equal halves you should know how to do this if you don't know just follow the link under the description below i am going to try and do this offline thank you okay so take note of my number now okay so from the right hand side i numbered it in the clockwise direction so mark zero one two three then back to mark 12 right here so the next procedure is to pick my set square and produce a vertical line passing this four cylinder then touching this area right here okay touching this truncated part right here so carefully pick your pencil and your set square and what draw in alignment so take note now mark 1 and 11 will lie on the same vertical plane so ensure you are drawing all of this faintly faintly it should be thin Ten, okay can you see so mark 2 and 10 will also align on the same plane you see then mark 3 and 9 okay that one is already there mark 4 and 8 right mark 5 and 7 right and mark six right here which is this okay so uh the next step is this since we subjected to this area to an angle of 60 degrees 
So likewise, I'm going to use my 60 degree set square and transfer each of those points to this truncated part here. Likewise, okay. Oh. The next point, which is this. Okay, let me just extend it beyond. I might need it later. So, all right. You can see I extend it towards the bottom and towards the top. Okay, so what's the next thing to actually do now? Let's develop our pipe key. Our pipe key. Since this one is at angle 60 degree here. So I'm going to try and produce a perpendicular to this area here. Okay, perpendicular to this area here coming down here. And that is going to be at You know, this is at 60. So 60 plus 30 gives what 90. I'm subjecting that angle 90 degrees straight away. So from the top here, I draw downward at angle 90 degrees. Do you see? So likewise, I'm going to come to this bottom here. Okay. This area. Do you see? So then I'm going to project each of the points here each of the points here okay so this first of all i project faintly followed by this i project faintly followed by that midpoint i project faintly followed by this i project faintly followed by this I project faintly. Okay, then the last part I projected faintly, as you can see on the screen right there. Okay, so likewise, each of the points here, I'm going to watch project them using my what 30 degree set square. So let me start from the top right there. Right here, I project what faintly. Okay, followed by this right here, I project what faintly. So followed by this right here, which is the midpoint. Okay, I project faintly. Followed by this right here, I project what faintly. Followed by this right here, I project what faintly. And the last mark, the AJ, I project what faintly. All right. So having it in that order. I can pick my starting spots to be any area. Let me pick this. Okay. Yeah. This mark as my starting point. Like this. Okay. So I'm drawing that at an angle of 60 degrees. Do you see? So it is perpendicular to each other. So the next thing is I'm going to pick one of the sector of my circle right here. Yeah, one of the sector. Then I'm stepping into one many times? 12 times. Okay. So from there, one from there two from there three four five six seven eight nine ten all right 11 and 12 so that is it 12 equal parts so let me do the numbering 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so then i'm going to what project them also faintly like that downwards 
Okay, angle 60 degree, and it is right there. Faintly throughout. Okay. Right. So on mark eight right here. On mark nine. On mark ten. On mark eleven. And on mark two right so which means i need to see extend all all of this here i'm extending this area downward this downward this downward this downward this downward this downward, this downward, this downward and this downward okay so what is the next procedure now these are this first one okay here is mark what zero and twelve this so towards the bottom mark zero i'm having this mark twelve i'm having this towards the top still the same line tracing it that's what zero and what and twelve so next one is what mark one and eleven this is it right here okay this second one Okay, on mark one towards the bottom and towards the top. This is mark one. Okay, then eleven also on this same line. Where right intersect eleven. This eleven bottom and what top. Next is what mark two and ten. This is mark two towards the bottom and this same line continues mark two towards the top. Then on the same thing is what mark ten. So tracing it out where intersects point ten at the top okay so this is it here also at the bottom at the bottom okay next is three and nine which is this midpoint here so oh, mark three this is where mark three intersects at the bottom this is where mark three intersects this is it here at the top so tracing it to mark nine where it intersects okay mark 9 and this mark 9 right there okay so mark 4 and 8 this very one so mark 4 at the bottom mark 4 this is it right there at the top so mark 8 at the top right there then mark 8 at the bottom right there next is mark 5 and 7 which is this coming here so mark five at the bottom and mark seven at the bottom going towards the top okay this is it right here mark five at the top and mark seven at the top then last is what mark six which is what the highest point so mark six at the top mark six at the what at the bottom so after getting each of these points the next thing is what i'm going to pick my french curve and join each of those areas to Okay, there, all right. So that's the next procedure right now. Okay, so first of all, I'm joining this. Okay, right there, and okay, I'm joining this right here, and this, I'm joining this right here, okay. I'm joining this right here and this right here like this okay this like this right here and then I'm joining the whole of this like this
Okay. Joining this like this. Okay. Now I'm going to what? wrap this right here like this and this right here like this. Okay, so that is the development of the pipe key of the problem on the screen right there. So my name remains Ulua Tumbi Blessing or Lalikon. Kindly ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it. Thank you. So this is our same T T T T. Okay, so this is the development of what of the pipe. Okay, thank you.